everyone. As you can tell, it's Amarillo and it's windy again. <laughs> it was a great weekend this weekend. We actually got a lot accomplished. Um, we got Freya integrated with the rest of the horses, so I've got a video coming up uh, on that pretty soon. And the other exciting part was since Charlie hasn't been choking and he hasn't had any issues since his choke, we actually released him out into one of the bigger paddocked areas um, that we have attached to the barn. It's usually where we let the donkeys out, but we let Charlie out there this weekend and he, uh, he did really good, didn't try to eat anything underneath the fence. That was my biggest concern, um, but stayed out there and watched him and he was actually he actually was pretty funny so I've got a couple of little clips of him and what he did when he was out in the paddock so it's pretty exciting to see and wanted to share it all with you because I know everyone always asks how the horses are doing so I've got more update videos coming and still one more surprise that I haven't released to everybody so I'm pretty excited about all this and uh, hope you enjoy this little short video about Charlie and his first time adventuring out into the paddock since his choke. Thanks everyone for watching. That's the big 40 acre area where the horses go during the day. That's where they're all just grazing right now. And then over here is our paddocked area that we have. They have a lean-to shed over there that the horses have 24 hour access to. Same thing with the other side of the barn. They have their hay bale. That's a hay saver. I'll do a video on that as well because I've had some people ask questions about that too. So I will do a video of that. And then this is the, the paddock area where the horses usually stay. It's, an, it's a pipe fence with sand line. And then we have, this is just another paddock area over here that we temporary fenced because we weren't quite sure if this was going to work out the way we wanted it to. So we did do temporary fencing and that's where Charlie's at right now. And this is where he spends, spends the day now venturing out. We wanted to make sure that he was going to be okay after his choke. So now that he is okay after his choke, we're getting him some paddock time. And there's the Charlie Waffles. Hey, big man. Hi, baby. What you doing? I know, you walking around in the paddock? Do you want to say hi to all your subscribers and your friends? Because they really care about you and not me. <laughs> yeah, they care about you. You tell them thank you for, for watching our videos. Yeah, we appreciate them. But this is the paddock area and this goes back to the barn where all the runs are. This is there. His little paddock area and the grass, like I said here, isn't long enough for him to chew or choke on so we watched him and made sure that he wasn't trying to get anything under the fence and he wasn't so this is still a dry paddock for him so he can't he can't get hay but he still can move around and roll and <laughs> play in the water as you'll see in this later part of this video here comes the big man again oh what are you doing oh i know yeah the big man we can go play in the water. Yeah, I know. Where do you want to walk to? Yeah, we usually do walks. We usually take a walk in the afternoon, so that's what we're doing. Come on, let's go. You want to walk? Oh, we're walking. Yep. Good job. And good boy. Good boy. This was Saturday when we let him out in the paddock. This was his first little adventure walking around and actually being closer to all the other horses in the paddock area. He was just walking around and sniffing his new environment. Just being a horse and that's what he deserves to be. I was so excited to see him rolling around and actually stretching his legs out and, and being a horse. This is actually good rolling. This is what they usually do when they get up and they shake. That's good rolling and that he's not having any issues. So it was good to see him shake off his stress and get a little bit more exercise out in the paddock area. 
The temporary paddock that we created doesn't actually have an automatic waterer, so we have this out there for the horses and the donkeys for, for water. And this was the first time Charlie got to use it, and this was actually pretty funny of his reaction, and playing in the water was absolutely adorable, so I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. It was really hot here too on Saturday, so it was about 107 degrees. So it was really funny to see him play in the water like this. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate all of your support.